Good morning, traders, and welcome back to another morning forecast. As always, if you want to follow my analysis and these morning forecasts, please make sure to watch my strategy video. The link is in the description of this video, or you can click on the screen right, right now. You can see that on the screen and you can go watch that so you can follow the analysis. Before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe and like and comment on my channel as well if you're enjoying what I'm providing. So let's jump into the morning forecast. So today we do have the presidential election and I don't know how it's going to affect the market. So it does say on the news event that it's all day, so anything can happen. So keep an eye on the market. We do have this trade that is live, which I'm leaving. It is in break even and it's starting to now push back up. Four hours looking good. Um, I'm going to keep the same target and we're just going to let the trade play out and see what happens. But I will not be moving my stop loss. It's always going to stay in break even. It's either going to hit break even or it's going to hit main the TP2. So that's that. UK 100. We are, we've come out of this range and we are pushing downwards, but we've had this not, we've had this push up here, we've broken this supply here. So I would say we're currently in a pullback and the only place really to take buys from at the moment is down here. So we do have a demand area. Is our liquidity that is one kind of liquidity and it's not within 15 pips so if i was to trade here like i say always it needs to take out some of the highs to the left before trading here but we do have a demand beneath this area which already has liquidity nice liquidity here and Just within 15 pips so actually at the moment this is not even a demand i'd be looking at it'd be this one here so if i i'll leave an alert on there because technically the four hour is bearish so for price to come all the way down here i would consider this a weak low so i'd be this is more likely to be taken out unless we come down and get a new and get a new structure made so we do have structure here to be fair but I'd have to see how price reacts down here at the time. So that is UK 100. USDCHF, it doesn't really look, USDCHF is very messy at the moment. And we don't really have anything to the left because it's out of the 14 days. There is a demand here, but yeah, well over the days. So I'm actually not looking at anything on this especially because it's USD as well um, with the election today. So um, that's not, I'm not really looking for anything on USD CHF. AUD USD, price has taken out this supply. Also got this supply up here, but this is going to be well over 14 days, I reckon. Nope, still within 11 days, but Price is starting to make new structure. I would say more likely to be looking for buyers, but we have this massive gap here, so this needs to be filled as well. Again, it's USD, so with the election, I'm not really looking to trade on that. Your USD as well. We've still got this massive gap to fill. We are pushing up now, and we're taking out all the supply, so we we are bullish on the four hour. If anything, I'd be sticking with this PR here. I'll keep this marked. Again, we've got this massive gap here. We do have a demand here as well. Taking out that high. So yeah, we have got something here, but we have this gap. So I'll keep this on as well. Again, it is USD, so I'm being very cautious in USD. I'll leave an alert there just to see what happens at what happens when price mitigates this area. But yeah, the USD pairs, because of the election, is going to be the most affected pair, so I'm not really focusing on them too much. Eurocad is the same place still. I do like the look of this. So this is probably the best trade so far that I'll probably be waiting for. I'm not really focusing on any other pairs. 
So it'd be EuroCAD and monitoring, monitoring GBP, JPY, which is looking good. So, yep, nothing's really changed this week so far. Like I said, we have the election today. I don't know how it's going to affect the market. It is all day, so we just have to wait and see. But in the meantime, I'm just going to monitor this trade. And that's that. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Like I said, if you enjoy the videos, enjoy what I'm providing, then please make sure to subscribe to this channel. I do notice that most of you who watch my, my videos aren't subscribed. So, please click the subscribe button. Make sure to like and comment. And I will see you in tomorrow's video.